Welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quarter. We're doing a lot of appliques and all sorts of things this year. We've got all sorts of programs going and they're all, uh, there's more information on the website on gourmetquarter.com. So what we're doing at the moment is a series of 20 different appliques with a theme of in the playroom. So as you can see, there's lots of things to play with. I'm not sure whether I want to go for a little ride on my hobby horse or if I want to play with the doll's house or maybe I want a game of Skittles, who knows. However, there's 20 in this series and there is a pattern available from GourmetQuarter.com and if you are receiving the pattern you'll have something like this to download and print which has got all the shapes ready for you to trace. For the applique we're doing fused uh, raw edge applique, well I'm doing fused raw edge applique. And so this is applique number 17 in this series of 20 so we're getting along really well and we've got a fun little car this time. So I've already started positioning everything and we've got two little wheels, we've got a door handle, we've got a window and the wheels have got little wheel centers so they need to go on as well and we've got a little light because we want to be able to see where we're going even if it's a little bit dark so that, and that one comes on here at the front of the car there and I think that's pretty much everything it's a very simple cute little car so I'm just going to iron everything in place. Oops, that light's just moved a bit. And then I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch. I'm going to free motion stitch. Because I'm free motioning, I need to have something behind it. So I've got a lightweight cotton batting that I just place behind to act as the stabilizer. Keeps everything really nicely. If you don't have a stabilizer when you're doing free motion, it tends to want to scrunch up and it's not attractive really. So I've got a grey thread in, I've got my feet teeth down, I've got a little open toe free motion foot on there and I am ready to start sewing and I don't know where to start. I think I will start here and go up and do the little light and around the car. So it's a very straightforward applique this one. I'm doing free motion stitching. It's just a straight stitch, free motion around the edge just on the applique. And I'm just going to go on the light and I'm just going to go past it but then I'm going to come back and go onto it, come around that inside edge and then I'm going to come back out along that outside edge again and then onto the car. So really this is very straightforward. I think I'll just keep going and I might show you when I'm doing the wheels perhaps. So I'm just coming along this last bit of the bottom of the car and I'm going to go around this wheel and then we'll be done. Great little car. And for the wheel centre, I, because my grey thread is very similar in colour, I'm just going to skip across here and go right around that centre as well. And so when I finish off and start when I'm doing the free motion, I just do a couple of stitches on top of each other and that locks it all off. So there's our little car, ready for a little drive. Let's give it a quick press. So much fun. And we'll pop that up in the playroom with the other things. is looking fun this playroom. So that was applique number 17 in, for in the playroom and I will see you again with applique number 18.